I'm doing eating today. It's it's just thank you. It's it's making uh, salt. Ah, I'm gonna jump right down your foot. You got yeah. games on your phone? Yeah, yeah, I'm, hello, sir. Hello. Uh, hello. Just was waiting for the meeting. A oh, briefing. I, I don't know. I Let's see what the other one know. who turned up for this uh, briefing. Yeah, all the other interns ran off to go see some sort of slime mabobber thing. Why? Orange. Or, orange little thing. Small guy. I don't know. It, it it was really weird. I I didn't like it. It looked When did goofy. 999 get on site? Huh. What's in 999? I'll have to go check him out later. Nothing you need to know about right now, Groot. Alright. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, welcome to today's briefing. I'm supposed to be talking to you about the new ACS system, I see. So What's that? The ACS system is the Anomaly Classification System. It is the brand new implementation for how we classify SCPs. As I'm sure you were made aware, we used to have just Euclid, Safe, and Keter. But now... What's a Keter? You don't want to know. Trust me. Okay. Uh, so, basically, I'll brief you on those real quick, and then we'll get into the new features of this new system. So, to recap, safe means you can leave it in a box. It'll probably stay there. Euclid, if you leave it in a box, it might not stay there. It might stay there. We don't know. That's why it's Euclid. And Keter... It will not stay in the box, and you're going to have to force it to stay. <clears throat> but we realized that that system was very lacking, as it did not display anything about what level security clearance you should have, or how dangerous the anomaly is. So, the new ACS system not only has safe Euclid and Keter, but also has three other extra components. For example, there are now secondary containment classes. A lot of them are very top secret, so I will not be going over any. But they do exist. And are... tend to be very in-depth. But then we also have the new level system. Security levels. They will be dictated on all documents. There are technically six of them, though you do not need to know the sixth. As no one will ever see those. Unless you want to be terminated. Now, okay. level one is unrestricted. Basically, documents that are available to most staff. Uh, restricted is those who are available to, you know, level 2 security. Level 3 is confidential, 4 is, sec is secret, and 5 is top secret. Another one that you will probably never see. Speaking of security clearance, why is your card black? My, my key card? I... Okay, that is... Okay, that, that's actually really better. I could have sworn it was white this morning. I see, uh, the, I see the hazing has started already. Uh, uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, huh? I... Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Just researchers hazing each, hazing the new guys. Uh, speaking of questions, why do you have horns? What? Oh, yes. Um, you see, sometimes researchers wind up getting extra features, anomalous abilities, Things like that. These are they look goofy. what I got. Well, they allow me to bend reality slightly, so... Oh. Unless you want to find out how powerful they are, I would suggest not. Anyway. Man, this look funny. 
Anyway, let's see what else is in my notes here. Ah, uh, yes, the guy. you what? What? I will just ignore your. I'm taking notes. I will take notes as well. In... <laughs> the, uh... Anything I should need to worry about? Not yet. Anyway. Uh. uh... The next, the next system that was added was disruption classes. These classes are made to, de to de denote exactly how dangerous an SCP is to the veil of secrecy. We have dark, which is not to be of a concern. It would be trivial to clean up any, any potential info leaks. Vlam, or Vlam, or however you pronounce it. It's very weird. Um, basically, it's localized just a handful of people. And it should be simple to neutralize the uh, info threat. Panique is where it gets a bit more difficult, as normally the info spread will be in the radius of city. It'll be a bit more difficult to clean up that info leak. A key uh, is going to be possibly the entire world learning about the anomaly. Fine. An Amida. You don't want an Amida. Or they will more than likely lead to the entire world and our universe knowing about the anomaly. Huh. Basically, never deal with an Amida, unless you want to be responsible for a lifted veil scenario. Anyway, the last thing is risk class. Oh. I didn't get breakfast. I just came straight here. At least you're dedicated. Write that down. Just... Alright, risk classes are what you're really going to want to pay attention to on any documentation. As they will tell you how possible it is for the SCP to kill you. Basically, risk class go as follows. Notice... Basically, no danger to the individual. Caution. Um, possible danger. Warning. Pretty good chance that there's going to be danger. Danger. It sounds like a lot of danger. Yeah, it, 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 it will. It probably will kill you. And then we have critical, which definitely oh. will kill you. Badness. Or worse. As How most... could death be worse? How could there be something worse than death? You'd be surprised when you've dealt with anomalies. Uh, there are many things okay. worse than death. But yes, that is the entire basics of the new ACS system. Do you have any questions, good sir? Uh... No. No. All right. I have a drawing. But I did take notes. I did take notes. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> if you do not take notes, I would be very concerned for your future. Oh, I'm already concerned about myself. <laughs> Oh, you should be. Trust me. Uh, what, what, what's that supposed to mean? Let's just say most ju junior researchers do not make it. Anyway. Okay, I, I hope think this, I'm done with this briefing. Uh, I hope this briefing I, was informative for you. Anyway. 
Good uh, luck. Yeah, you have a nice your, day. Good luck in your endeavors here. Yeah. Uh.